Hi, I'm Lori and I love books. And today I'm going to go over the picture books I read in 2023. Um, I have sorted them by type more than by the time I read them. So the first one is The Walrus and the Carpenter, a, another pop-up rhyme from Through the Looking Glass by Nick Bantock. And uh, so I believe he's the illustrator or the creator of the pop-up pages. So there's the sun and the moon arguing about whose time it is in the sky. And the ships in sailing wax and cabbages and kings. And of course my favorite is the walrus with his napkin and a little teapot. Um, so I really enjoyed this book and uh, I gave it five stars. The next one is uh, Mary Engelbert's Mother Goose, 100 Best Loved Verses. And I got this because there is the uh, uh, what is it? The Humpty Dumpty uh, was the one I got it for. And then uh, the Queen of Hearts made some tarts. There's the Queen of Hearts. So I was glad that she was in this as well. Uh, cat that went to London to look at the Queen. And then there's Humpty Dumpty. So uh, he was the reason I got the book because I do really enjoy Humpty Dumpty. And this one is a very uh, cute scene of Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall. And I gave that uh, four stars. And then the next one I uh, uh, found at a local bookstore. And it's called Crinkle, Crinkle, Little Star. And it's a read and touch bedtime book by Justin Krasner and Emma Yartlett. And it does make a crinkle sound. And then it goes over the different constellations. And... Uh, it ends with a very shiny, crinkly heart, and uh, I really enjoyed this book, and I have shared it with the children at work, and they really enjoyed it, too. Um, this next one I found used, and it's called Bobby Bubbles by E. Hugh Sherwood, and it's about a little boy that uh, goes in a bubble, and then he goes up into the sky, and he uh, winds up in Mars and Fairyland, and it's a very... Um, cute little adventure of him kind of going different places, but there's not much conflict. Uh, so I, I did give it three stars. Um, and maybe if there had been a little bit more to it, uh, I might have given it a little higher, but it was interesting. It was definitely an interesting find. I just, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not because it doesn't really fit into my collection, but it also was very interesting. So the next one is The First Poems of Childhood, illustrated by Tasha Tudor. And um, I just, I thought I might like this version. Um, I didn't, I don't, um, at the seaside. The poems were uh, interesting. The illustrations are uh, fairly cute. Um, this one I hadn't, I don't ever remember reading. It is by Edward Lear, The Table and the Chair. So it was nice to read something new as far as poetry goes, but I think I would rather have a whole collection of Edward Lear as opposed to that one book. Um, these next books I got, I read because of the Children's Classics Club. I run over on Goodreads. I'm in the process of probably changing how that is done. But the first one was Corduroy by Don Freeman. And this is about a little teddy bear that lives in a department store. And he goes on an adventure to find his lost button. Um, I gave it four stars. And uh, uh, I do like that, you know, if you do buy the bear, it does have the corduroy pants. So it's a very cute book. Uh, if you love bears, I definitely recommend it. The next one is The Tale of Two Bad Mice by Beatrix Potter. I got this one because, uh, 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 again, of the children's classics clip, we were going over dolls. And this is of two mice that go into a dollhouse. And they uh, cause quite a bit of mischief. They try the food, which is plastic, of course. They 
try the beds, and then they eventually take a bunch of things back to their little mouse hole. And then uh, the girls whose nursery it is put a policeman by the door so the mice don't come back uh, to cause trouble again. <coughs> Excuse me. This next one is uh, The Carousel by Liz Rosenberg and Jim LaMarche. And um, it's an interesting story of a uh, carousel that the girls go on a ride with and then they get taken up into the sky and um, they eventually decide to go and help try to fix the carousel because it was broken. And the last one I read for the Children's Classics Club um, that I'm going to be talking about today is The Little Carousel by Marsha Brown. And this is of a traveling carousel that goes, and uh, all the kids take their, like, little dimes to go and get a ride on the carousel, but one little boy doesn't have any money, and so he's allowed to crank the carousel, and because of the work he did, he gets to go on the carousel, too. So it's a very cute book. Um, and, uh, very kind of cute simple illustrations as well very colorful and then these next ones are spiritual books I read the first one is the Virgin Mary around the world a pilgrimage of faith by Chantel Barros and uh, it just shows a very brief story of uh, people that have encountered Mary around the world and some of the stories I had known of previously and some are very new to me. So I really enjoyed that. The next one is The Littlest Angel by Charles Taswell, illustrated by Katherine Evans. And this is of a, a little boy uh, angel that uh, is kind of not great at what he does. He's trying, but you know, he, he kind of uh, is having trouble being an angel. And so he, uh, has to go and uh, talk to uh, Elder Angel, and then he basically tells the Elder Angel of a box that he wants, and because he gets the box back, he's able to uh, be a better angel. And so I gave this five stars. Um, and the last book, before I go talk about my favorite book I found last year, is The Story of Holly and Ivy. Um, this was a winter tale of a little girl who um, leaves her orphanage to go find her grandmother and along the way she finds a toy store where there's a doll wishing for a human girl to take her home. So uh, it's a story of like basically two stories that con converge at the end. And then the last book is the book I just love. I gave five stars to and it's one Black Cat Sets Out on Halloween by Robin Reggae, I think. Um, and it's shaped like a little kitty book. And it is of a kitty at Halloween time that is on a little walk and sees the trick-or-treaters and a little witch. And it's just so cute. And I love cats and I used to have a black cat, so I really enjoyed this, and this was another five-star book. So those were the picture books I read last year. Uh, let me know any thoughts you have in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you wish to. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely time reading. Bye!